Tell me how to fight it. I hid the answer in a microbe this one carries. It turns the male parasites into females, preventing reproduction. One parasite infecting another. However, it doesn't affect only the parasite. It alters the host as well. Your infection will be contained. But you and your men will also be rendered infertile. That is the price you must pay to regain your speech. That freak show back there. May the work of your children too? different strain from the vocal cord parasite, known as the one that covers. It acts as the host's skin, providing strength in exchange for nourishment. But I did not know those men were infected. They were forced to serve him. Steal my research. Have you seen one of their vehicles? Big yellow cake. Captured a convoy they were escorting. Cargo some kind of mineral. What became of it? The metallic archaea. Close your head! Boss, are you okay? So the vocal cord parasites that have infected Mother Base. Please? They're ethnic cleansers designed to silence those who don't fit into Skullface's worldview. We can't allow him to have such power. Go over the mission details and get going ASAP. Boss, you okay? There's an unusual mist in front of your chopper. It could be the same one as before. Cypher is trying to eliminate Code Talker, but we can't save the infected without him. Boss, whatever you do, bring Code Talker back alive.
like you're surrounded by mist. The support chopper can't get close to your position right now. Coming.
Golfis is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enriched the uranium it, loaded onto all-terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A nuke business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere, Deterrence on all sides. 
So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Snooks. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. The R&D and medical teams have come up with a proposal for a new suit that applies Code Talker's research. The Parasite Suit. Apparently, it can recreate some of the Skull's unusual abilities. But in order to use those abilities, it needs Parasites. If you want to wear this suit, you're gonna need to get a hold of Parasites by extracting Skulls. Good. You captured it alive. to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. Parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites, turning male to female and preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this.
again with a truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> Metallic Archaea. Sohilanthropus. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sohilanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon, East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life, as countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skullface is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight, and on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be you. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and Zero's. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sohilanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. KP-0, the Sohilanthropus is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB Zero. That's where he'll activate Sahalanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site.
Mission list updated.